Oh, hi guys. Uh, today I'm going to try to give you guys a little bit of the differences between the Lionel and uh, MTH Pacifics. Uh, the Reading and Northern, okay, the Lionel is on the left and the Reading and Northern MTH version is on the right. Uh, the MTH version is an uncatalog uh, version that uh, they came out with and uh, I really like both of them to tell you the truth. Uh, there are some differences in both of them and as you can see um, here's the front edge of them. Uh, both are pretty darn close uh, except for the smoke box. The smoke box is a little bit um, brighter, uh, a little cleaner uh, and shinier on the Lionel version as compared to the MTH version. The one thing that I really like, and pardon me of my big finger here, on the MTH version they did let me try to get that in closer there for you. They did paint the inside of the bell red as compared to the uh, Lionel, which didn't. Okay, and that's, uh, that's very accurate uh, on the uh, prototype that's down in Jim Thorpe. It has the red on the inside of the bell. Okay, paint it that way. Otherwise, uh, some guys said that the um, uh, MTH version uh, is a sooted version, okay, having uh, uh, quite a few runs on it, and that's why the uh, blue is a little bit darker as compared to a couple of guys that said that the Lionel version is brighter, and that would uh, typically mean uh, uh, a brand new paint scheme without any soot on it. Okay, you can see that the walkways on the MTH version are black and the walkways on the Lionel are blue. Okay, uh, driver wise, I think that the uh, Lionels are a little bit bigger in comparison with the MTHs. Okay, uh, as far as the cab and all, I'm trying to get a good picture of this right in here. You could see that the Lionel is a little bit bigger, okay, in size. All right, um, also, uh, the MTH version has this little extension over the firebox right in here, and Lionel doesn't. But what Lionel does have is the whistle which is in the correct spot as compared to the whistle on the MTH which is on the side here of the pressure dome. Uh, like I said before the domes, sand domes in the front are quite a bit different. Uh, I noticed a couple of uh, pictures that uh, Lionel's is sort of like that okay but I did see other pictures uh, I don't know if it's the same version or not but uh, MTH hit it spot on too. Okay, but the big thing is the whistle steam on the Lionel, and it is pretty much in the in the right spot right there. Lionel did miss the boat on the hatches right in here, where MTH did have the single hatch uh, for ventilation on the top. Uh, as far as the uh, tender concern is. Uh, I think Lionel, or Lionel missed the boat on this one because they don't have a backup light. Okay, as you can see, there's a backup light with the 425 on it on the MTH version. MTH has a single hatch right in here. Okay, and Lionel has a triple hatch right back there, but open singly like that. Okay, the coal loads look pretty darn good. Okay, uh, the big thing in when I fire this up again is that uh, Lionel does have the ash pan glow right in here where MTH doesn't. The lettering 
uh, for the numbers looks pretty darn good okay both on the sand domes and on um, on each version right there okay I'll fire it up for you and we shall this is the MTH version firing up okay let me put the headlight on there's the headlight it's LED of course and here is this is the dispatcher My do you I read you over okay start her up stand by for track orders okay okay let's get to work out alright here is uh, MTH's dialect this is the big thing this is like authentic this is from the conductor of uh, the Reading and Northern 425. He was on the OGR forum, and he said that he did the recordings for this. 425, you got about five to a stop, over. Roger, five to a stop on the 425. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. This is Russ Guiana. Welcome aboard the Reading Blue Mountain and Northern Railroad. Today's train will take us from Reading Outer Station to Jim Thorpe, a distance of 60 miles. Conductor to all car hosts, everybody should be closed up and in the clear. Here we go. Reading Northern Conductor, head on engine 425. We've got a clear signal. Outer Station northbound. Okay to proceed. Over. Roger, here we go, North 425. Roger, let's give them a good show. I think that's pretty darn cool, okay? Uh... Why or um, MTH really went out of the way with that one, and it really, really sounds cool. Here's the whistle on the MTH. Okay, now for the Lionel one. Okay, here is the dispatcher. Am I clear to make a move? Over. Negative. Please stand by. Over. It's pretty much the same. This is the dispatcher. You're clear to pull. Okay, it's pretty much the same thing uh, with most of the engines on uh, Lionel. Okay, the one nice thing about this is uh, if you want to go with a sequence, Lionel does have this. Okay, but first let me sh just show you the whistle. Okay, and now the MTH whistle again. Pretty much the same, just a little bit difference in the pitch, okay? I don't have the smoke on right now, but uh, I will put it on in a second. Here is Lionel sequence, okay? If you wanted to do this, you would press aux 1 for about 2 or 3 seconds. And you'll hear the bell and whistle start, okay? And there it is, there's the sequence starting up. And this will continue up to, I think, about uh, 30 scale miles an hour on the legacy. And then you'll get a you know, 25. Sixty-five. That's what you get. Okay. And then when you come down to a uh, stop, that's what happens. I'm going to put it in reverse, and you'll hear that. Sorry, I have the uh, Reading and Northern uh, observation car going at the same time too, and maybe I'll do a video on that. Okay, so this is pretty cool when you put it in the sequence. You can see there it goes backwards like that.
Okay, let me turn on the uh, I'll let you know when I'm smoke. Out. There's the smoke out of the whistle. It's a little bit Power. weak, but Train is it's rolling. not bad right Over. now. Over. Copy that. Keep it rolling. Out. Okay, and the MTH version. Let's put on a little bit of smoke there. I don't know if I have enough in there, but we'll put that one on. darn nice engine. I like both of them a lot. I'm going to put it in reverse. In reverse, there's your light in the back there with the 425. Okay. It does have the coupler slack that you just heard, which is a cool feature. Man. The one thing that uh, does have on the uh, MTH version, and I haven't figured this out yet, it's a quilla, quillable whistle, and you work it with the thumb wheel. Okay, but I, that was pretty good, but sometimes when you're running it, it's a little weird, okay, and I still haven't mastered that yet. One of these days I will, hopefully. Okay, uh, the last thing I just want to show you is, okay, once I get it running here, is the firebox. Dispatcher, okay, right there. Train is rolling. Over. And Side light that engages them. This is last 1957. Signing off. Okay. Get these if you want. I like mine. They're really, really cool. The MTH version, along with the Lionel version. Okay. MTHs, whistle, Lionel's whistle. Okay, guys, thanks a lot. Out.